so today is a very, very exciting day. Today is the day, you guys. We are ready to put water in our giant fish tank. <gasps> you guys ready? Yeah. Let's do it. I think we are actually ready this time to get water in the tank. But the first thing we have to do is take this package out. There's a surprise in this package that we have not told the kids about. That's gonna be saved for a little bit later. Another thing we have to do though is we did not wash this gravel when we put it in there. One of you guys actually commented on that video, hey, aren't you gonna wash that gravel? You are right, we totally forgot before we put the gravel in the tank to wash it. We just dumped it right in. So the first thing we're gonna do today is take all of that gravel out and rinse it. So once again, you guys have come to our rescue, so thank you very much for pointing out our mistake. We will take care of that before we do anything else. So I may not be able to scoop every rock out of this tank, but we are going to do our best to make sure that we get this rinsed appropriately. Okay, now we're going to put the rinsed rocks right back in. Now to do the other side. Clean gravel, going in. Okay, step one, fix our mistake, done. The next thing we were reminded by you guys to do was to make sure that our filtration system does not have to go outside the tank. Because if it does, then we need to make sure we move it far enough away from the wall. So, next thing to do is put this on to make sure we have enough space. We've got the Whisper power filter. That comes off. Okay, so this is the unit and it appears as though it does hang on the outside of the tank. I'm sure glad somebody told us that. <laughs> okay, so this guy goes like this. And this ledge right here hangs over the side of the tank and all of this is behind the tank. Okay, so this guy comes with this bag of tubes. These tubes are going to connect the filter right here under the water. So the only thing that's actually in the tank is the tube and not the whole filter system. So that's good to know now because we can still move our tank. We haven't added water yet. Okay, Dad, so we need to move the tank away from the wall about three inches. Aw, it makes our background not work so good now. Lame. It's okay, it still works. Now we need to take this guy and hang him on the rear wall of our tank, just like that. Plenty of space back here, so that should be good. Okay, now the tube system that goes inside here is gonna go in here. There we go, it goes right in there, and then the tube goes down into the water. Now I'm trying to guess here how much tubing we need because um, it comes with different sizes and I think that's probably gonna be good right there. That way it's not touching the bottom of the tank but it's nice and deep so I can still do water changes without getting any water or any air sucked up into my filter. So that is gonna be a good length. Okay guys, so here is our 10 gallon tank. We have all these cool fancy decorations in here and all of the decorations, except perhaps Crush because he's occupied at the moment, are gonna go over to our big new 55 gallon <laughs> tank. You guys ready for this? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna take the lid off. Don't worry guys, I've got nice, clean, freshly washed hands. I just rinsed them off, no soap, we're good. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm just gonna reach right down in here and Grab our tugboat. Come on, tugboat. This is like only, only boat. 
Only. Just making sure that the snail's not. Oh, oh it's we there. We do it's have running. a stowaway. He's like, oh, what's happening? Okay, guy, you're gonna have to uh, not be on the tugboat. Oh, sorry, fell friend. Out. Oh, did you fall? Good. Oh, friend, take over. Mm. Okay. Well, maybe. Now I'm gonna reach back here and grab this pretty little blue plant. Come on, pretty blue plant. Now I'm leaving all of this funky algae and whatnot that's grown on here. I'm leaving that on purpose because it might help our new tank with the bacteria that it needs to cycle faster. Come on, Nemo. This big guy here with the grass. Shut that off. Grab them right on out of there. Come on, treasure chest guy. Oh, it's Excuse me. Excuse me, Brutus the Batman fish. <laughs> Look, guys, I caught some treasure. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me fish the inside. Nope, don't touch it. Why? And then this is gonna go right over here. I'm gonna grab our purple plant here. Grab our fire bush. Excuse me, Crystal. Yeah. We're gonna grab this pretty little guy in the corner. <coughs> and then crush. Excuse me. Sorry, little guy. It's probably really traumatic for you to get ripped off of there and thrown aside, but I promise I wasn't trying to hurt you. I just need you to stay in the good water while we take Crush and put him in the big tank. Come on, Crush. Plant. I'm actually gonna leave our live plant, both of our snails and our fish in this water that I know is healthy for them until our new tank is cycled. So all we're gonna do today is we're gonna re we're gonna transplant all of our decorations into our big tank and then we're gonna fill it up with water. So let's get these guys over there. Okay guys, I've got the peanut gallery over here to tell me exactly where they want all of these decorations. So we're gonna start with this blue guy. Um, put him right there. Should we put it right in this side? Maybe yeah, back in yeah. this corner? Yeah. yeah. You like yeah. that? That's amazing. Okay. There you go, guy. You live in that corner now. And let's go with Crush. Where should Crush go? Right there. Should we put him in front of this pirate ship? I think yeah. we should put him a little back. Back a little further? Like yeah, this? Yeah, like right next to the pirate ship. Like, like maybe that, there? Right there, yeah. Still, yeah so still he's, like in So he's there. swimming around going, hey guys, what's going on? Yeah. He's All right. Pirate. Let's see, where should we put the big guy? Where should a tugboat go? Um, put it right in front of the boat. Like this, like he's tugging it along, or should we have yeah. him towards the front, or no. towards the back? No, towards like the front. Right, in front of him. right here. Maybe right there. What do we think, here no, or no, back? No, no, I think you should have tilted. It's not tilted. Okay, like this? Yeah, no, right here. No, it's the same, like pointing the other way, to the other direction, yeah. This way? Yeah, no. Like maybe he's yes. tugging him that way and sink? Yep. Yeah. yeah. You're too heavy for me, I can't pull you. Sink, sink, sink. Okay, how about some tall grass? Where should we put the tall grass? Uh, maybe right here, there. right here. Maybe like up here? There you go. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of near crush. It's hard to reach in there, guys. Should we put the fire bush on this side? Yeah. yeah. Maybe right there in the corner? Yep. Yeah. That look good? Nemo, where's Nemo going? On the ship. On the ship. On the ship? Let's yeah. see if we can put Nemo on the ship. So he's swimming around. Oh, he's too big. He can't go on the ship. Uh, let's just How about this. near Crush? Yeah. Because yeah. okay. they're buddies. Yeah, dude. Wait, oh. What? Nemo wanted to explore the butt. <laughs> That's the butt. <laughs> yeah. Let's stick the purple guy over here. Yeah. Okay. Does that work? Yep. Yeah. Everybody like that? Yep. Okay. Well, here comes the pirate ship decoration of the oh, century. Oh, of course. <laughs> he is going to be trying to get this off the pirate ship. What do you think? Is that, yeah, that's a good is that idea. a great idea? Or what? <laughs> we promised you guys there was going to be a new present for our tank, you guys. Oh, you guys are going to love this. Oh, what is it? It's a skeleton. It's a skeleton, and he's a bubbler, so when the 
the air flows through him, he turns the wheel. He drives the ship. How cool is that? So there's our new guy, Mr. Cool here. What should we name our new guy, you guys? Skelly. 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 I like Skelly. Skelly. Captain Jones. I think we should name him One-Eyed Willie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 What do we think of having him in the back? I like him. Yeah. I like him right there. Like him in the back? Yeah. Okay guys, we sent Daddy to go get the hose that we just bought the other day so we could get some water going in this tank. I'm so excited. Okay, there's the tank one last time with no water in it. Are we excited to put water in it? Yeah. Here comes the super exciting part. We are ready to put water in our tank. Okay, Dad, give us a little bit of water. Whoa, that's too much. Last step, guys, we gotta make sure to rinse these and rinse the filter cartridges, and then we can put it all back together and turn it on. Hey guys, according to the directions for the filter, I need to fill the wonder tube chamber until it overflows into the bio bag chamber. I don't really know what that means, but we're gonna wing it. So I'm gonna get some water. And I'm gonna fill this little chamber here carefully. Now it says to cover the filter, plop, and fill the aquarium with water. We already did that. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Plug in the power cord. The filter should start automatically within 10 to 20 seconds. Okay, let there be power. Yes! Dad's doing the honors here, giving us light in our tank. Be light. Okay guys, so I got a bottle of Stress Coat. I've been told over and over again that this is really good for my fish tank. However, I don't know if I should add it now or if I should wait until I'm ready to put the fish in. The other thing I ordered for our tank was Safe Start. This one cycles new aquariums, but I missed a certain detail here. This treats 20 gallons. I have a 55 gallon tank. I guess this is probably better than nothing, but this is not going to be enough. But it does have, uh, it removes ammonia, it's a starter bacteria, and it is for freshwater aquariums. So this should help cycle our tank a little faster. So I am just going to add this entire bottle to our aquarium. Cheers, guys. So let's go check in with Brutus the Batman fish, Crystal Jewel, Sheldon, and Michelle. Oh my gosh, you guys! They don't have any decorations! You guys freaking out in there? Or are you enjoying it because you have more space? They're like, oh man, you should have done this a long time ago. <laughs> Do you guys like being in there? Well, maybe they're going, oh, where's all the toys? Where's the fun stuff, guys? That was a mean trick all our toys away. Hey, hey. Where's our toys? I want my toys. And there's Sheldon and Michelle. I hope they didn't get too traumatized because we forcibly removed them from where they were hanging out. Sorry, dudes. Hopefully we'll get you guys a bigger, nicer, better home and some more friends because I don't think those two little snails are going to be able to keep all of the algae out of our big tank. So just to remind everybody in YouTube land, we are not getting new friends for our fish tank until we've had our new, our, until we've had our friends in there for a good long time and we know that our tank is stabilized. But we need to know how long our empty tank needs to cycle before we can add our friends safely to the water. Yep. So, what should people do if they know the answer? Comment down below. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Okay, well, it's time for bed. So, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you want to make the channel strong, share it with your friends. Now, 